Hi guys, this is Sandra Shaker. Today we're gonna see how to create a simple crystal report. Before that, I would like to show what is crystal report for people who haven't seen it. So this is my small application that is a small web application which has a crystal report and a web page in which I have embedded this one I'm going to show this one uh, for you guys and then I'll give you a walkthrough for you so this is the page and this is a small uh, crystal report using the Northwind database uh, you can click on this link and it highlights you the particular place and you can see some interesting stuff like total group which is 11 for uh, it's for France and uh, you can scroll up you can move to the main report or you can even move through pages so it's a three page report and let's start it <coughs> so with the start page I'm going to create a new web application it's a ASP.NET website my language is C sharp and let it be website 3 as you all know this is just a small uh, a web page is default.aspx I'm going to write add uh, a crystal report so this is the crystal report and in the add new item and just give it as sample crystal report wait for some time for the visa to pop up select a standard one and I'm going to select a standard one so it might be easy for you guys to follow click OK and this is how it will be for you guys so the first thing what we have to do is to create a connection to the crystal report so the data are present in our database so I'm going to create a new connection for you guys. So, just click on this one and select Microsoft OLEDB provider for SQL Server. Click next and give your uh, server instance name. Mine is this one choose integrated security if you use or if you have a SQL server uh, with Windows authentication mode then you have to select this one integrated security or if your SQL server is SQL server authenticated mode then you have to specify your user ID and your password for your SQL instance for me it's a Windows based authentication so I'll choose my database it's going to be not win click next and these are some of the uh, advanced information of your uh, OLEDB uh, database connection and even I don't it even I don't know what what those things are click finish and here's your not win database and is the place where you will find your tables and you can also drag and drop your views so that the views will get you the data and that gets displayed on your crystal report here we're going to select one table which is a customers table click next and these are all the attributes for of your customer table uh, 
I'm gonna select some four fields just for sample click next and this is the another option where you can do group by it's, which is similar to that of the group by uh, uh, clause in your uh, SQL statements and we don't want to make it really complicated I'll tell you guys how to do group by so we can skip this one as of now or if you want to group by all you have to do is you have to cr click the uh, uh, corresponding selected uh, fields that you have in your reports click this arrow so that it comes here so as of now we don't, we don't need it proceed further and if you want to make uh, filtering options in your reports if you want to filter them by the customer ID or something like that you can select this one click here so you filter by this field and this is not needed as of now so click next and this is going to be the styles in which your report is going to be viewed so it can be a table format so just simply select table or uh, you can click as a drop down table something like a table drops down and you can have shading have so many it's kind of a CSS for your web application so it's a kind of uh, a CSS or a style for your crystal report so I'm going to use table click finish now the crystal report of a file dot rpt is been created now we have done only a half job now we want this crystal report to be displayed in the web page so all we want to do is double click on this web page and go to the toolbox go to reporting you have a crystal report viewer just double click on this one and this is how it's going to look like this is because you haven't mapped this crystal report viewer to your crystal report that which we have built up and to link them you have to click on the smart tag click choose report source the report source is the one that we created now that of the file dot rpt so you can give some funky names here and select your dot rpt file here it will be displayed and if you want you have already created the crystal report you can browse and you can do it and we'll see it later in the further tutorials and click ok now this will give you a small gist of how your report is going to look like and you can see some of the interesting uh, uh, tags being attached to your web pages so now save it and run it so this is how it is so this is your sample crystal report and hope you have uh, learned how to do this simple uh, crystal reports for your web application and hopefully I think uh, you guys would have enjoyed this video and see you in the next video bye bye